Hey guys, I figured it's time for an update video uh, on everything, the 67, the Grizzly, the Vet, everything, but uh, Wave Runners, Boat, all that stuff, Dart, it's over there, but <laughs> this is the newest edition, it's a 99 Dodge Ram, 318, 5.2 liter, 5 speed manual, 4 wheel drive, extended cab, this is the new daily driver, it uh, a real clean truck had a camper shell on it but I took it off let me get me a black toolbox might do the nerf bars black but it uh it's got a hundred and seventy thousand miles on it I'll do a in-depth tour of it later But, of course, it's five speed. But, there, on a little bit of a hill. But, got real nice hand cooks on it. They were on it when I found it. Real clean. Hundred percent stock. Including exhaust. That's gonna go though. That's one of the next things to go that and I'm gonna put a cold air intake on it. But it's got the seven pin connector. And I've got the adapter to adapt that to a flat four or flat five. So that's nice, but, but it does good as going every day and everything. It does real good. Drop in bed liner, plastic bed liner. It doesn't have a sliding rear window, but they had had the front windows t uh, tinted with like a blue purple tint. I hated that. I took it off. The rear windows, without, I think that's factory tint. I'm not sure. I think they tinted just a little bit. And the back window, I'm going to get tinted to match the quarter windows. But, and as for the Grizzly, it's doing good. I know I never did post a video of it with the new wheels and tires because I just never got around to it. Then I took them off for the winter. And now they're back on. So, done a few things to it. Got me a tag. I did it. Uh, well, that won't do it. There. Did that so I can still use the winch. But, it's doing good. Looks real good. Does real well with these tires. But, I also did an exhaust mod. Oh, I got a K&N &N, uh, K air filter in it too now. But I took the tip off, and I'd already removed the spark arrestor, and the uh, the portion of the tip that goes up inside the muffler, I cut it off, and it's uh, it's a lot more aggressive sounding now, and it didn't cost anything, so that's always nice. Wait, hold on. It's doing good. I've been using the six by ten yard work, but then as for the '67, made a lot of headway on it too. Nowhere near as much as I had would have liked to have made by now. I would like to have had it finished by now, but the original goal was to be finished next month. But I don't think we'll make that, <laughs> which is why I had to drive that truck over there to drive, which this truck, the '67. 
it's not going to be a daily driver anymore anyway. It's we're making it a little nicer than we originally planned. But the paint color I chose is a uh, GM, factory GM color, uh, Inferno Orange Metallic. It's on the HHRs and the Vets and stuff like that. But so far we've got it, uh, the cabs on the frame for the last time. Uh, what have I done? We've jammed it out, the firewall, the interior door jams, inside of the doors, inside of the hood, all that good stuff. Jammed it out. So now we can just put the body back together inside the fender, stuff like that, and paint the body itself. Rapture line the floorboard in the back of the cab. Made a real nice line under there where the paint and right Raptor liner joins. But I'll turn this one light off. One of my fluorescent lights up there's messed up and it's buzzing because I got both switches on. Sick. That wrong one. There. Now we're good. But frames all put together. That Dodge, I bought a brush guard for it. I've been busy getting ready to recoat it with the Raptor liner, but it was chrome and I just ground it down with a grinder, painted right there, so I can put these back on, bolt them back on in a Raptor line over top of them so they won't rust in between them. But yeah, that's the update on the 67. It's coming along okay. Got a lot of chrome parts and stuff stashed up in the house for it for when we get ready to start putting it together. But I wish you could see this paint in the sunlight because it's it's nice. I know this camera doesn't do it justice. Hold on, I think you can see it in the sunlight. Where's my glove box door? I'm not sure what I did with it. I have it out somewhere. I have the glove box door somewhere and I can take it outside and show you. But I'm not sure where it is now. But anyway, uh, here's the motor and the uh, fenders and doors and the hood. The inside the doors have been jammed. Inside the fenders, they've also been raptor lined down inside. Inside the hood's done. And this is just 2K primer here that's going to get uh, blocked and painted over, of course. But I'm not really sure what I'd do with that. But there's the camper shell that came off the truck. Probably gonna keep it. I don't know. I might not. I'm deciding. Stock wheels and tires for the Grizzly. Vet still driving it around. Nice to be able to put a paint job on it, but we can't really afford it right now. So there's the other part of the brush guard. But these are not the same Wave Runners. I sold those GP Wave Runners and bought my cousin's uh, XL models, so the three seaters. A little bit bigger, ride a little better, stuff like that. I'll do a video of those two. <laughs> but that's uh here's the charger. Of course it's sitting being used as a shelf right now. But it's there. <laughs> Awaiting its turn. But that's the paint on the truck. Now I gotta find my glove box store because I've not I don't I do not have a clue where it went to. Oh yeah, it's a cold air intake for my bought for my dad's uh, Cummins Dodge Cummins 2500 05 model wish it was a six speed truck but he bought it as an automatic which was a mistake but trucks only got 60,000 miles on it got the black toolbox and bed caps and at some point the plastic liners gonna come out and get replaced with a, uh, a spray in this truck's clean as a pin like it just rolled off the showroom floor. The only scratch it's got on it is right there where one of the dogs I'm assuming got on it. But it's been a good truck considering it's seven years old. I need to do a video on it. But anyway guys that's the update. Uh, I know I haven't been on YouTube in forever as far as videos go and stuff and I haven't really commented or liked or anything either. I just haven't had time or I kind of guess I lost interest in it for a little while and it's back. So bought another bed too. Well, I bought a whole truck and took the bed off and stripped it down. That's going to be the bed for the uh, 67. But anyway, guys, that's the uh, best update and 
look forward to some more stuff. So thanks for watching.